Hello, and today we're going to go over Cave Game, one of the favorite things that I made in college. This is basically a class where we get together in a group with a couple of our engineers, and we just make a software product. We decided to make a game, and we used object-oriented Java. And throughout the whole class, we had to turn in deliverables, basically just different documents resulting to the software lifecycle. So in this repo, you'll find a very detailed build instruction PDF which will tell you how to actually import the project to Eclipse and build it. Um, or you can just download the jar file and play it if you have the required Java on your computer. And that's what I'll be doing. I'm actually going to be running the code as a Java application, but that's what you normally do. So I'm just going to go through the user manual. And basically as a backstory, the game menu will come up and you can start a new game or look at the high scores or close the game. Um, when you start a new game, you'll go through this story, which is basically just saying um, a character named Gario. This is a ripoff of Mario. It's a 2D side-scrolling platformer. And Gario is in a cave, and the cave is collapsing, and you're trying to race out of there. And there's a timer, and as long as you make it out of there before the timer expires, that's how it calculates your score, and you win. The three ways you can die are you can fall down a hole, you can have the timer expire, or you can run into enemies. So along the ways, you'll be having to jump over pl different platforms, solve puzzles, and dodge enemies. And then at the end, this is how we display our high scores. We take like the top 10. And you can move with the left and right arrows. Up is the jump. You can hold the shift key to make him run so he gets a little bit more distance on the physics. Um, some of the puzzles that you can do are solving logic gates that we learned earlier. Um, in the previous year of our computer science program, so that was pretty funny. Everyone really liked that, as well as other little puzzles. And this just basically goes through and shows you how to play the game, what the screens will look like if you lose, um, if you run out of the timer, if you run into an enemy, stuff like that. So just have fun with it, and I'll go ahead and play right now and show you what it looks like. Feel free to look through the code on here. I won't be going through the code but there's a lot of different things. We have a player class, we have classes to have enemies, collisions, we have a, a level generator, stuff like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and go through the Eclipse game. We'll start it up. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and play our cave game. You can do a new game, high score or exit. We can look at our high scores right now. USF is on top. We'll see if we can change that. Do a new game. This gives a little bit about the background behind the character and what you're trying to do in the game. We can go ahead and skip that. So here we are. We can walk left and right. We can jump. We can even double jump and we can hold down shift to go a little bit faster. This is a cave. There's some bats flying around. The bats are enemies, so if you run into a bat, you'll die. So let's see, we've got the timer up in the top left. We've got about seven minutes to try and exit the cave. I'm gonna dodge these bats real quick. And it's just a really fun game to play. Platformer, we can use puzzles to try and slow down the player. Here we just have a four color sequence random generator. So you have to repeat them in the same order that you're shown. If you don't, you get another chance to try again. But if you do, you can move forward. The high score is based off of how fast you complete the level. So obviously the first time you get it done, the higher score you'll have. So with practice comes higher scores. <clears throat> Luckily we have these beautiful textures and graphics. Um, one of our team members was fairly adept with Photoshop, so you can make cool things like these little skulls, um, kind of give a cool game effect. And we have the player which has a little headlight on his hat. So here we come up to the second puzzle. This was a little logic gate that we uh, we did before in one of our previous classes freshman year. So it was a, a fun one to do. Everyone really loved it when we were presenting the day of. A little computer science humor. We're gonna go ahead and take the top path here just because it's easier to dodge the bats. Um, if we happen to fall we can still try and make it to the second lower level. Oh, but we dodge them. Awesome. It's always easier to take the top path because if you do fall, you'll at least have one 
chance to try and land on a lower platform before you fall all the way through. So we try and make it a little bit easier for the player to, to make it, and us. So we're going to just wait for this bat to pass through and keep on our way. Here we get to the final stretch of this level. We have to jump on these individual little platforms. We'll try and not fall. Ooh, a little scary there. But we continue on. This is where the double jumping really comes into effect and why we wanted to have double jumping was not only to make it easier but also to allow us to be more creative in the level and have these parts be able to be generated. So how you use your second jump as well as holding down shift to get a little bit more momentum behind it really determines how you make it. We almost hit that bat, we dodged the last one and we get to the end. So you'll see our timer will stop right here at 5 minutes 8 seconds is when we got out. Um, started at 7 minutes. So we'll present a congratulations screen as well as a you exited this cave. And we'll go ahead and if you are within the top 10 high scores, which we definitely are, then we're going to go ahead and enter a three digit alphanumeric UCF. It's the college I went to. Now we can go check the high scores and see that UCF is currently on top. And that's basically it. So go ahead and download and hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.